In this video, we're going to show the iPad and iPhone working with the Remote Shack. Everyone knows the Remote Shack can work on a regular telephone line or VOIP line such as Vonage, Skype, or Magic Jack, but it can also work with Skype and it can do it at the same time that it works with a telco. Why? It's for redundancy. When you're out and about and you don't have the bandwidth uh, that uh, is required for point-to-point -point operation of uh, remote base, you can always go to a telephone line. But when you do have the bandwidth, you can use Skype, and the Remote Shack supports that. So today we're going to show you how that works. So what we have here today is the IC7000, and the reason why we chose that unit is because it has a video output. So does the 7600, 7700, and 7800. And with a video output, you can feed it to a device such as this. It's a, a video input that can go onto your computer and you will be able to actually uh, have an input uh, so that you can run into Skype. And once you do, you can see the IC7000 screen on your remote client device, such as an iPhone, iPad, or Droid. So let's go ahead and give the unit a call. Bring up Skype here. Scroll down to the remote shack. Pop it in, give it a video call. Immediately you'll hear audio, but you're not logged in yet. You'll even get video. We'll turn our front camera off because we don't need it. And immediately you can see our video be is being streamed from the icon here uh, to our iPad here. And now we'll go ahead and log in to the remote shack uh, using the DTMF pad. Passcode protected. Welcome. General. Remote base ready. The FOA 14 3 1 0 0 USB. Receive. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and enter in a frequency. Okay, and as we can see, we can do just about all the features that we can over the phone. There is no difference. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and go into filter mode. Add a fil filter. Noise reduction on. Auto notch on. Noise blinker on. Well, we can turn them all off. All filters off. We can also rotate the beam. Hundred twenty degrees. We can also switch antennas. We just uh, interface to the Kessler Engineering CX Auto, which is an eight uh, eight selector for antennas. It's right here. And it plugs directly into the remote shack remote base controller. So let's go ahead and switch over to the vertical. Antenna. Antenna. Two. All right, there's our vertical. If we want, we can go back to antenna one, which is the beam. Antenna one. Okay. Of course, we can also do all the other features, such as scanning the band. And we can also go on the air. Transmit. Hello, test. KI4, Yankee United Mary. iPhone testing. We're using speakerphone right now, but of course, uh, it is highly recommended that you do not use speakerphone in the field. Instead, get yourself a headset like this one here. It has a boom mic. It's made by Able Planet. Okay? And you can just directly plug it directly into uh, the iPhone, iPad, or any Droid phone that uses that connector. Goodbye. 
Of course, the same thing works uh, on your iPhone. Just give the unit a call here. Turn on the speakerphone. There we go. And get into the system. Okay, and now we're just into the system just the same. iPad, iPhone. It doesn't matter as long as the client can run Skype. And stop. KI4, Yankee, United, Mary. And that's how we work it on the iPhone. 